Today's topic is parallel combination of resistors. Now, what the need of this parallel combination? If we want less resistance with the help of higher resistances, then we will connect them in parallel. For example, we have three resistances. First one is of R1 ohm, second is R2 ohm, and third is R3 ohm. If one end of each resistance is connected to the positive angle of the battery, and the second end of each resistance is connected to the second end of the battery, then this combination is known as parallel combination. is only battery. Its maximum voltage is V. When we switch on the circuit, then current will start from positive terminal of the battery. Suppose this one is I. At this point A, it is divided into three parts. Suppose so R1 current is I1. So I R2 current is I2 and so R3 current is I3. It means total current of the circuit I V I1 plus I2 plus I3. So they are connected in parallel. So potential difference across each resistor will be same as that of battery. That's V. Now, by Ohm's law, across R1, V is I1 into R1, or I1 is V upon R1. Across R2, same thing I2 will be V upon R2 and across R3 current I3 will be V upon R3. On putting the values of I1, I2, and I3 in equation first, we get so from equation first. I will be V1 upon R1 plus V2 upon R2 plus V3 upon R3. This I is V as common 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. I upon V is 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. Here, I is total current. Of the circuit. And V is total potential difference of the circuit. So, V upon I is Resistance, total resistance of the circuit, or it is also known as R equivalent, or I upon V will be 1 upon R equivalent, so 1 upon R equivalent is 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. If there are more than three resistances, then we can write 1 upon R equivalent is 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3 
So what only R1 and R2 connected in C is an equivalent resistance will be 1 upon R equivalent will be 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 or R equivalent is R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So important points of parallel combination. First point is this one. Potential difference across each resistance will be same. Will be same. Second point. Current through resistance, resistances will be different. Will be different. Current is divided. In the reciprocal ratio of resistors means if there are three resistances R1, R2, and R, current I is flowing in this way, it is divided into two parts or three parts. Suppose here is two parts only, here is I1, here is I2, this resistance is R1, this resistance is R2. So I1, S2, I2 will be R2 upon. R1. In just a reverse ratio of resistances. Means higher will be the resistance, lower will be the current. Means higher is the resistance, lower will be the current. So that resistance. Third point, equivalent resistance of the parallel combination will be less than the lowest resistance connected in parallel. Equivalent resistance of parallel combination. will be less than the lowest resistance connected in the pattern. For example, one ohm and hundred ohm resistances are connected in parallel. In parallel, and the equivalent resistance will be less than one ohm. Will be less than one 
here R1 is 1 ohm, R2 is 100 ohm, then R equivalent will be R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2 is 1 into 100 divided by 1 plus 100 that's 100 upon 101 that's less than 1 ohm. We want to decrease the resistance. To decrease the resistance. Of the circuit. Then connect. A lower resistance in pattern. In a circuit. So, equivalent resistance will decrease. point R equivalent means equivalent resistance of the circuit it will be is given by 1 upon R equivalent is 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3 